And there isn't anything that I think than this new restaurant, Fig and Olive. It is the best place. And I'm so happy that Chef Pascal Larange is here today. <laughs> and you're going to show us how to make one of your signature dishes. What is this we're making? Actually, we're going to do today our, our one of the best dishes at Fig and Olive, which is the Fig Gorgonzola Tartelette. Oh. Uh, we serve with prosciutto, gorgonzola, walnuts, heirloom tomatoes. Actually, we don't have fresh figs now, but we will do it with a, the with dry, dry figs. I just want to say I so, love your accent. I know. I, could I want to go get my passport just to yeah. make sure I'm legal right now. I feel <laughs> yes. like I've traveled. Well, you don't have to travel because we are bringing in right now one of these wonderful, oh, what, oh, this yeah. is a tartlet, tartlet, yeah. a tartlet. tartlet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank Thank you. You. Actually, it's, a, it's like a, a French pizza. French pizza. Now, so how, did, how, did, French pizza. how did this cooking become such a big part of your life? Uh, because actually I'm, I yes. became from, a, I'm the third generation of chefs in my family. How many generations of chefs? Third, third You are the third generation. So everybody is cooking in my, my family. So I, I think I born with that. And I love it. You. So I just since uh, since six years old, I, I want to be a chef. So my mom said, "You crazy? You're not gonna yeah. do that." Oh, but look so what you So I did. keep my promise, my promise. And now it's 28 years I'm cooking now. So. But now, if we come to Fig and Olive, will we see you behind cooking, uh, or will well, you be I'm out talking York, to everybody? I'm between New York, uh, Newport Beach, uh, Melrose Place, and now we're gonna open next month actually uh, Chicago Place in Chicago. So. Look at his face. So, look, yeah, there it says it all. Good, huh? So what I'm gonna show, yes? show you how all to right. do it. Let's see. Mm. Okay, right? let's see how we do, you it. do it. Yes. Okay, so. We'll just take a, yes. a puff pastry that we can find in uh, any, any supermarket. This is puff don't, do, don't try to do that at home. Okay. So we're just going to dock it a little bit so we don't raise too yes. much. Okay, so it's like a pie. Gonna... When you make a pie, you punch yeah. holes now in you it. You can do so that one here. Oh, thank you. Okay. So we, do, we have heirloom tomatoes, which we are at the, actually, uh, are they in at the source. Uh, right now, they, they're going to start now. Okay. Uh, so I love to, to do that. Uh, so we're gonna do, just put some some heirloom tomatoes. Uh, do you like heirloom tomatoes rather than regular uh, tomatoes like beef steak? Or yeah, because that, those ones are a little bit too watery right now. So oh. in the summer they will be uh, really ripe. Perfect. So what we do? We just put heirloom tomatoes, scallions. We're gonna put some walnuts. This is really uh, actually a, a Italian dish because oh. we are actually at Figanelli we don't cook with butter and, and no cream, no butter, just olive oil. So you can see mm -hmm. we have 28 different types of olive oil. So Are each these your olive oil? Is, yes. yes. This, this is a burkina, so oh. that's from Spain. Uh, you can replace this, uh, actually we do mashed potatoes, use that and you replace the butter. That burkina is buttery. <laughs> really? So, you know, uh, see? <laughs> oh actually, uh, actually uh, I don't hear yeah, anybody yeah, over there, so yeah. everybody's eating. Mm -hmm. I just want to point out, I just rebooked these guys on the show. They're coming back because <laughs> yeah. of food. They well, because, yeah, anytime. Yeah. That's right. what we do every day. Yeah. So good. All so right. So now we're going to add some figs here. All right. And if you don't like gorgonzola, you can uh, actually uh, put some goat cheese. You can put some burrata if you like. Oh, you know, we can, we can play. Play home. around with it. You know, see? Okay. And now we, that will cook at actually uh, for 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes uh, at 400 degrees. And we're going to see. And we'll serve that with olive oil, abelkina, and balsamic vinegar. And we'll top that with actually... Do you serve it after so, it comes out of the oven yeah. with the olive oil? Mm -hmm. All right, so so right after, we're just going to season with uh, uh, oh. arugula, uh -huh. olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Do you put, okay, so you wait till these are done before you add the yeah. arugula. Yeah, because after it's going to, now we're going to bake it. How will you bake it out at what temperature for how long? 400, 400 degrees between 12 and 15 minutes. Oh, Depends the oven. It's like a pizza. Yeah, it's like, uh, I told okay. you. It was a, here like, we go. And so we're going to go inside. That's a good point. Eric brings out a good point. He's like, I can't, I can't believe you're going to put like this at work. Every day. Wow. See? Every day. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to, oh man, look at, uh, I'm going to take that out. That one? Yeah, no. you take this out? Now we can eat, we can have more now. Oh, more. So, oh, great. Now what we're going to do, are you going to eat some, oh, some right? Oh, okay. have you met me? <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So okay. we're going to put some, a little bit of arugula. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have only two, huh? Be yes. Well, no, Marco, pro did you guys finish? We love it. Oh, you your leftovers. Just finish so well, I love the prosciutto. We are on our way. But from Italy, oh, right? So. Yes, of course, yes. <laughs> so, All right. yeah, put oh my gosh. some. And some olive oil? Olive oil. Mm. I mean, actually, olive oh, oil only. I took the little. If I, so I, fi I figure if I took a little piece of the fat off, then it, you know I won't have. Yeah, you need to eat everything. Justify all your and mm. actually, Can we see how beautiful this is. See, and I finish with a little rosemary. Don't eat it. I'm okay. not. So. Oh, look how beautiful. So Let me just show you. Right, look at this. 